Hello everyone, I am Ambarish Tarte from Mumbai, a Microsoft Certified Professional. Thank you for tuning into this video. In this video, I will explain the Speak feature that your Microsoft Outlook offers. I've got the 2016 uh, version up. I'm on the Office uh, 365 uh, subscription actually, but this works on Outlook 2010 and uh, 13 as well. All right, so uh, it's, it's a good idea sometimes to give your eyes the much needed rest, let your ears do their job. Yeah, so your Outlook will read aloud some of your emails for you. Okay, so that way you can simply sit back, relax, maybe close your eyes and just pay attention to what the Outlook says. All right, okay, let's first enable the speak feature. So I will click on the downward pointing arrow here. It's the quick access toolbar. Okay, so I will click on the, the, the toolbar and uh, I've got this uh, option here that says more commands. Okay, so I click on that. All right, so it opens up the Outlook options window for me, which I could have also opened by clicking on file and uh, options. But yeah, in the Outlook options window where it says choose commands from, okay, it has highlighted popular commands. However, I will click on the drop down and I will choose commands not in the ribbon. Okay, so I choose this. All right, and then it opens up the list of uh, a few commands. Let me go down here and simply type S. Yeah, I'm looking for the command called speak. Yeah, so I click on S and it takes me right down to where all the commands beginning with S are. Yeah, I'll just scroll down, okay, and I see the command called speak right here between the sort and split. Yeah, so I select speak and I say add. It's right here, okay, so that way it has now been added to my quick access toolbar, which is right up upon the ribbon. So I close this now so I can say, okay, I am out of the Outlook options window now. All right, so you can see here that the speak command has been added, but it's not active yet, yet. Yeah, because I've not yet selected any text. Okay, so the command is right here. All right, now let me go to my sent items. Let's see if it works. Yep, I am in my sent items. Let's go to let's go to one of the emails that I've sent today. Uh, okay, let's go with this email that has been sent out to Ritu. Okay, I've asked her to see if she can change my dates of the training program. So, uh, yep, here's the email. Let me select it right from the very first word till the question mark. Okay, so I, it is important to select the text, right? And now let me go on to this speak command, which is now activated, okay? Only when you select the text, the command will be activated, all right? That's it, I'm about to click on it and let's see if it works, all right? So here we go. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, yeah, it does. It works. Yeah. It's just that uh, there's a problem with the small problem with the volume. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it does. It does uh, uh, play the, the text. Okay. Let's try this once again uh, for a different text. Let me go to my signature. All right. Highlight my signature only on the first three lines, maybe. All right. And okay, let's play. <laughs> yeah, it does uh, a bit of uh, a goof up with the proper uh, names. Ambarish Tarte was pronounced as Ambarish Tart. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice one. Bye.